Welcome, today I'm gonna to help you no longer waste your practice time. If you don't have a plan for your practice, you won't see measurable progress. But oftentimes, even if you do have a plan, you might not be making the progress you were hoping for. Today I'm gonna to break down some bad practice habits, then I'm gonna break down exactly what to do to fix them, and I've made all these mistakes. So if you're like I used to be back in high school, you would clear your schedule for a Saturday morning jam and practice session, super pumped to play. You'd have a list of things you were excited to play, your materials ready, you'd have sheets and tabs and YouTube videos all sitting out. You're playing one thing until you get frustrated and then you bounce to the next thing, keeping things fun, but also you feel like you're not getting anywhere. You keep hitting these roadblocks and then switching to something else and then at the end of the day, you don't feel like you did much. And that's because that's an ineffective way to practice. You're bouncing around, not measuring anything and not focusing on one thing means progress will be much slower than it could be. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to fix all three of those things in three quick steps. But first, why would you listen to me? Well, my name's Jake, and I've been teaching guitar for over 17 years, from the back of guitar stores, in high schools, and as a college professor. And most recently, I run the online teaching community, Guitar Gym Pro. Step one is to focus. So we need to pick one thing to focus on. The man who chases two rabbits catches none, but, it doesn't have to be ultra specific, like learning to change from an E minor chord to a D chord, right? Like that's ultra specific, but we don't wanna to be too broad too. It shouldn't be too wide, like master country guitar, right? Like that's not quite focused. So I like to choose a song as my goal, as my focus. It's the thing I'm aiming at. My decisions go, is this bring me closer to playing that song? Now it doesn't mean I can't review other songs or even work on others but I see those as a break to help me stay excited about my goal instead of their own individual goals, right? I have one thing that I'm trying to aim at. It's a small mental shift, but it's a huge difference. So the next thing we need to do is measure. So we need to track what we're doing. So metronome markings get tracked, songs you can play without the music in front of you, things you've got memorized, exercises you know, scales, whatever. Now this has two benefits. So the first is it helps you not forget what you've learned as you grow your knowledge. So you may not remember that you learned this song off the top of your head every time, but if you haven't played it in six months, eight months, two years, maybe you don't remember it anymore. So having a list of things that you know you know helps you review them enough to make sure you still know them. All right, it's also inspiring to see a list of three songs or 10 songs or 30 songs you know or exercises you've done because you're seeing how much material you've really gone through. Now step three is to make sure you go slow. I always start at 60 beats per minute. Still, I've been playing guitar for over 23 years. You play the chord change, the lick, the section or song at that tempo, super slowly, 60 beats per minute. You do it for two minutes without stopping. I go so far as to set an egg timer. Then I go up about eight beats per minute, 60 to 68, 76 to 84 to 92 to 100. Do it again, do it again. Now tomorrow I come and I sit down and I start about eight beats per minute slower then I finish the day before. Maybe I need to go back down 16, maybe I can start right at the tempo, it just depends on the material I'm working on. Now it may seem slow, but try it for a week and you'll see how much more quickly you make progress than the other way. When you're trying to play something too fast, you're just pushing up against this edge, but you're making so many mistakes and you're building in so much tension, you're not able to speed it up and you kind of get stuck on that hamster wheel. If you're willing to slow it down, you're gonna build great habits and you're gonna be able to pass where you used to get stuck. Now, if this was helpful for you, I have more free lessons like this one, along with a free community of guitar players just like you. It's the best community online for guitar players and it is free forever. You can join us at school.com slash guitar. That's school with a K dot com slash guitar. And I can't wait to see you in there.